guys welcome back today's video I'm going to do a small Aritzia try on haul for you so some of these items I got um, during the Aritzia sale and then a couple other things I just got within this last week all of these things though I would highly recommend so let's get into it okay so the first thing I actually have two of them and I did show one in a previous video but since then I got a different color it's the Wilfred memories blazer and it's like a faux leather blazer it feels so buttery soft I got this size large and it's definitely a little bit of an oversized boxy fit so I could definitely wear the size medium as well so it does fit true to size just depends how you want it to fit so originally I got a very light tan color and kind of like um more of like a light brown so I did return the light brown and I got the black color just because I felt like a black faux leather blazer is kind of like something that is like a basic in your wardrobe so I decided for that color instead so the black one looks like this I really like the pockets on the front some blazers don't have that it looks great done up or open um, it's really nice to wear blouses underneath you can even wear this alone um, for like a night out it's not to cut too deeply so i really really do like this it's a nice back and it's so buttery soft it feels really really nice it's nice quality and and then i'll show you the light taupe one and the light taupe it's a beautiful color as well it just has the two buttons they both have the satin lining so i'll try these on for you and yeah i got the the size large I actually did also try on an extra large because I really wanted these to be oversized, but the XL was just much too big. So definitely stick to your true size if you want it more fitted and go up one size if you want it oversized. So next up, I got these jean shorts in the sale. They're the Goldie Era shorts. So I got my regular size 30 in um, the denim. I will say I really like how they fit in the leg. I don't think a Goldie works for my body. I personally, it does feel like very good quality denim, but I think it's maybe made for women that are more like narrow, like up and down. I just find there's so much gaping at the waist. I tried on a couple of their um, pairs of jeans, like I ordered them and I had to return them just because it fit nicely in the legs. And then like the back was sticking out this much. So I think I actually maybe filmed some video of that. So I'll insert it here. Just if you want to see how those jeans fit, I would recommend them. Or if you don't mind getting them tailored, I just, I said in another video, I had a bad experience with a tailor recently and like they destroyed two pairs of brand new pants. So here are the shorts. So, um, so I would say in the thigh for me, they fit true to size. The waist is a bit big. I'll, I'll show you in the mirror, but um, maybe next summer I'll get them tailored. So there's just a nice amount of distressing. It's not overly done. There's a little bit more on the back pocket and the length is really nice on me. It's just, um, you know, if you have bigger thighs, you don't want your thighs rubbing together. So I find this length, it looks nice, even with kind of what I'm wearing, like an oversized blouse, it looks really nice. Um, I do believe these are sold out on the Aritzia website, but I did find them on Revolve, so I will link them. And yes, if you're curvy, I would recommend them. You might have to tailor the waist a little bit, but other than that, I really love them. So I wanted to pick them up and they were a good price. Okay, so here is the Anina trouser jean in a size 30. So this is what I would typically get in a Levi's jean. And if I will focus, there we go. Um, okay, so I definitely need the 30 for my hips and thighs. I don't, sometimes um, with denim that doesn't stretch much, it flattens your butt out. So I find it's doing that a bit, which is it's just giving me like a kind of a different shape from the side, which whatever, it's not that big of a deal but look like it really is gaping a lot again so i don't know if all citizens of humanity jeans do that if you're curvy i don't know but i think it's just maybe something i'm gonna have to live with and um that's what they look like from the front so this is definitely more of the like the type of the leg that i was looking for next up in the aritzia sale i grabbed two more of the denim forum jane shirts and i knew i liked these because i own the black and the white one and i believe i did pay full price these i got for 40 some dollars so i thought that was a great price i always get size medium so i feel that like these fit true to size they are a little bit oversized but not as exaggerated as this blanca studio one so i picked up the 
um, the very light yellow color. It's a little bit more yellow in person. It's just looking a bit washed out on camera, but it is a very light yellow, um, kind of like this. So I got that and these look great tucked in. They're not so oversized like this one that you can't tuck it in. These look nice tucked. Th these are definitely more like an overshirt. And then I got the green one, which I've worn a lot. I love green, my favorite color. Um, it's a little bit wrinkly there, but it's a really nice color as well. And here is the green button down. And then I actually got a crop version of that shirt in white. And again, this is a size medium. Yep, so they fit all true to size. And I got this before we went to LA because I have, um, this is what I wore. I have those like baggy cause trousers, those black ones. And um, yes, this looked really nice. And then I had my Celine sandals. So I thought this looked really nice, um, you know, for daytime or to go out at night. It's just like a really good basic to have. And then I got one more button down. I have the white version of this. This is the Sunday Best Future shirt, and this is a size medium. It fits true to size. So this shirt is different because it's a lot longer. So these ones are really nice, I find, if you have a jacket and you want the bottom to stick out. I wanted to mention too in the sale, I got a pair of Babaton. They are called the Lux Black Ankle Socks, and they I think they were on sale for only $3.99. And they're really nice, they're like a semi-sheer sock. And they look great if you have any sandals, like with my Celine sandals, I just wanted a pair of black socks, that way I can kind of wear them into fall. And then on our trip to through the airport, I wanted to wear a pair of socks. I don't like walking through security with bare feet. And I really like them. So for $3.99, if they still have your size available, I would recommend them. And last but not least, I picked up two black turtlenecks. Um, the past couple years working from home, I realized over the winter and fall months, I have two black turtlenecks. So one is from, um, it's from Zara from like five years ago and I still love it and it hasn't pilled or anything. I wear it all the time. And then I have another one from American Apparel. I'm not joking, it's probably like 14 years old. We don't even have American Apparel. Had those two and then I ended up buying another one from Athleta more like an active wear one. And literally I just wear black turtlenecks every other day in the fall or winter months. So I picked up two more. They were both reasonably priced. They're around $40. So the first one I got was the Babaton Everyday Turtleneck Hip Long Sleeve. And it was $45 and I got the size large. So um, it just recommended I get the size large. Again, I think this is one of those things you can get a medium or large. Um, yeah, and it's a really, really nice soft material. It really feels beautiful. And the neck is not too structured on this one. It's a little bit loose. Maybe if I would have went down to the medium, it would be a little bit tight, but I really like this one. And they have lots of other colors, I believe. And then this one is from TNA and it was $40. It is the TNA Chill Asa Turtleneck. I also got the size large. TNA stuff I find fits a little bit small, so usually I do size up to the large. Um, it's just pure black. I believe they have like a nice teddy brown color, which I might get. And it does have the little symbol there, which I don't love because I guess it just makes it more sporty looking, but I, I don't mind it, but I would just prefer if it didn't have a logo. And this is just more like a standard cotton turtleneck. This feels like my American Apparel one I had, but you know, it's getting a little bit faded. I've had it so, so long. Um, I really miss that store. I really, really do. Like I loved that store. I have so much stuff from there from like 15 years ago. So I don't know, even though it was a bit more expensive for basics, I think it was worth it. And then I'll throw in one last clip of me trying on that North Face puffer vest just because it's the only North Face thing I got, but I did want to do a try on of it just in case you guys are interested in it and want to pick it up. I'll show you how it fits, maybe over the turtlenecks. As always, I'll leave all my measurements down below just as a size guide reference, and then I'll link all the items as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye.